right, the last technique of the day is called collaring. It's like shirt collar. When you work in New York as well, these are all high-end styles we're doing today. On your first day, uh, when you work in New York, it's gotten easier. In the 80s, everything was called high style. Bird of Paradise, Bird of Paradise, uh, Curly Willow. It was very uh, uh, called uh, Picasso. Now it's, uh, it's an, a lot of mass. So do you, anybody know who Cicely Tyson is? Legendary American actress. She came to my school. She's a friend of mine. And when she was on Broadway at 90 doing, uh, 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 wait, she, no, oh, she's going to kill me. She won the Tony at 88, yeah. Seven, play, seven shows a week, can you imagine? With James Earl Jones from uh, Star Wars. Anyway, I sent her flowers. What did I send her? Mass amount of orange tulips, this big, and I collared it. It's the, it's the New York look. Um, she is a legend and, and an amazing woman. She, she moves and looks younger than I do, trust me. <laughs> she's just an amazing woman. At 90, I think 91, she's on uh, How to Get Away with Murder. So we're going to collar. That means collaring. Like Biedermeier means concentric circles of flowers. It sounded like a Biedermeier style. We're going to start with what we already learned. We're going to take our roses. We're going to open the gates, close the gates. We're going to turn. We're going to open the gates, close the gates, and turn. For those of you short memory, open the gates, close the gates, and turn. Point it away. Point it straight away from you. Pull it to the right side of your body or left side and turn. Now, when I stop and I go like this, I go, what is that? That's floating space debris. What is this? A new bacteria they discovered. So before you go any further, make sure you have a flower because we're in the flower business. One flower, set those down, nothing in your hands. Surround one flower with everything else. So you are looking at a flower before you do anything else. Then in our poker hand here, we're going to play a little poker. We have uh, uh, this Australian material I don't know the name of. Wax flower, because I never see it, stock, and what else do we have? Uh, Gravilla. So I'm in your poker hand, what's the next most important flower on my table? Which item? Stock, of course. So we're going to play poker. Here's my, my set of queens. I'm going to put in my jacks. I have three pieces of stock, so what shape am I doing? Triangle, of course. We're working in geometry. There's one, two, I'm going to steal one of yours, and three. The stock is a little leggy today. That means it was cloudy where it was growing. So I'm going to rip off a little bit of the heads, make it more into a mass flower. Next, we have uh, wax flower. We have about five pieces of wax flower. So what, what color am I going to get? What shape? What's a five-sided shape called? Pentagon. I'm going to do a little pentagon of wax flower. Two, open the gate, close the gate. Three, open the gate, close the gate. Four, oops, open the gate, close the gate. I knew that one was snapped. I was trying to make them work. So I screwed them all over, see? Four and four and a half and five. So I added five little pieces of, of wax flower around the outside. Now, I'm going to add um, Grevillea. I'm going to steal your Grevillea so I get my own. And this is going to go just beyond the wax flower. One, turning. So how many pieces of Grevillea do you have? About five pieces. Good. Another pentagon. Two, and three, and four, and a little bit longer, five-ish, and six. So now see how I pull these down? to get them to open up like a flower. Now I've added my gravilla. Next, I need a little more. It's about making the weights, and I have more of this if we need it. It's about making the materials balanced on all sides. If you have too much on one side, your eye will go there. It's about seeing it all at once and it all being working together. I'll fill it in a little bit more. Okay, and last but not least, we have that material. I don't even know the name of Somebody will write it and tell me. We're going to do that last. One, two. This is sort of your line material coming out the sides. Three, four, 
five, five and a half ish. I think I'm going to give you a lot more of this. We need more. Usually I use a mass green to finish it, but there aren't any around today. I'm going to stop. I'm going to tweak it. Make sure my roses are the highest flower in my bouquet. We're still doing that round effect like that. Scoot that stock over, rip a little bit of them off so it doesn't stick out. We need a lot more of the style of designing tomorrow with lots of flowers doing big mixed bouquets. And then, I'm going to wrap it. Last thing I'm going to do is pull this material down through my design to open it up like a flower. So when I'm done, I basically took a little five roses and turned it into a nice mixed You can do this out of your backyard materials in your backyard. Ready, set, go, do it. <laughs> <laughs>